Hey, what's going on guys? It's Baker Pace here, back for another episode of my Chow Garden Let's Play series. Last episode, we started our Chow Garden journey by hatching our first two Chows, Aaron and Armin. This episode, we will be continuing to level Aaron and Armin's stats so we can have them compete in Chow Karate and Chow races. So, let's get right into it. All right, boys, it's time to train again. Oh, Armin, you asshole, you asshole. Oh, I still have a gorilla left. All right, Armin. Let's see how far along we can get your your power training with uh, with one gorilla. All right, final training session of the video. I promise. Armin has finally reached the level that I want him to be at for running, and it's interesting that bunnies increase the flying stat? I, I think it's just because bunnies jump high, but like, that's still pretty dope. And here we go. Aaron is back to his former glory, and Armin is actually now at level 27 from uh, using the skeleton dogs. And uh... If you notice, whenever he was running around, he was actually doing the, the stomping walk animation. Which, I'm not sure is the last one, but it's one of the last ones. So, look at him go. Our boys are already starting to grow up so fast. So, I think it's time to make them fight to the death. Alright, Aaron. Let's see if your training is paid off. We're gonna put you in the beginner bracket. Let's go, Aaron, let's go! Let's go, Aaron, let's go! Dude, he looks so cool now that he's like at the swimming dark chow phase. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Knocked him out in two swings. Come to finish him off while he's asleep. Round one goes to Aaron. All right, second round is Aaron versus Chow Lin. 90 seconds on the clock. Begin! It's an intense stare down. Aaron makes the first move. Chow Lin dodges to the left, comes in with a counter attack, but it barely does anything to Aaron. Aaron takes barely any damage, coming back in for the counter attack, taking out nearly half of Chow Lin's remaining HP. Second kick puts him in a state of uh, insomnia. Looks like Aaron needs some cheering up too. All right, Aaron's not the best at dodging. It's his defenses that, that, that Chow Lin has to worry about. Three hits and it's barely a scratch. And with 38 seconds on the clock, Aaron swings in with a final punch to secure round two. Round three, Aaron versus Chow Ko. And with a signature punch, Aaron <laughs> secures the round. Round four is Aaron versus Eggy. That egg must be providing some kind of defense though, because Eggy's defenses are the strongest that we've seen so far. Still not enough power to even put a dent in Aaron's health. Another hit sends Eggy into the damn knockout round. But Aaron falls asleep with half of his stamina left. He's just taunting at this point. He's just wanting to flex on all of these guys. He's in a, a league of his own. And then yet again, securing it at the 38 second mark. Aaron taking round four, the semifinals. He's gonna be advancing on to grand finals. All right, grand finals round. Aaron versus Happy. Begin. They're staring each other right in the eyes. They're both squaring up. They're ready for the fight. Aaron getting there just a little bit sooner and Happy taking barely any health. Aaron with the first dodge of the game completely avoids taking damage from Happy, dealing a critical blow to Happy, bringing him to almost half health, and taking no damage in the return. Happy is all flare and no power, coming in with another kick, taking Happy down to one-fifth health. 
putting him in the sleepy time zone, taking him out with 57 seconds on the clock. It's Aaron bringing in the victory, bringing it home. And he is the beginner bracket grand champion. Not even going below a quarter of his max HP the entire time. Aaron is clearly the champion. All right, let's keep this hype train going. Let's see how our boy Armin does in the Chow races. Let's take this over to Mushroom Forest, boys. All right, we got some fierce competitors today, boys. But I do believe that Aaron, excuse me, Armin has the advantage here. Not as strong of a lead as I would have expected, but he's still pulling ahead. Armin, are you okay, dude? You're so clumsy. Speed up. Get up there, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Yes, come on. Don't run out of stamina now. Bam, let's go. <laughs> that was a lot closer of a race than I would have expected, but Armin pulled ahead. Let's see if Armin's able to do Mushroom Valley number two. If he doesn't trip, I think he's got it, but this is going to be a little tricky. No, Armin, why? Get your ass up, boy. Everybody's just tripping and stumbling. Everybody's tripping and stumbling. Everybody's tripping and stumbling. What is going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> Respectfully, Armin, I don't think you should have won that. <laughs> Everybody's clumsy as hell. All right, do I dare do Mushroom Forest 3? All right, Armin is pulling ahead barely at the beginning. I think this is one where it's a, if it's a no trip, then we win. Armin pulling ahead still, I'm gonna give him a little boost. That's how it's done, Armin. That's how it's done. That's what you can accomplish when you don't trip over your fat feet. And Armin got the baby rattle. Not really a useful item, but at least now he has something else to do in the garden. I want to do Aaron this time. And we are going to the crab pool. We're gonna complete all three of these because I know for a fact that Aaron is going to stomp all of these dudes. He crossed the sea. Crossing the ocean versus crossing the crab pool. Not a chance. Not a chance on earth. And Aaron's stamina is high, so I'm gonna give him two little boosts right off the bat. This is really loud. Holy crap. Crab pool's a lot longer than I remember it being, but Aaron has got a substantial lead. No shock at all. None of those babies even knew how to swim. So I'm talking about Aaron, my boy. All right, let's go into race number two. Now, I'm going to take this time while we're doing these races to talk about some exciting things about the future of the series. We have 24 slots available for Chows. We currently have two of them taken up by Aaron and Armin, and I have a third reserved for a request by my girlfriend to have a specific type of chow made. So we have three slots taken up, but there are 21 available empty slots for chows. I am going to announce that these empty slots will be used for fan suggested chows. Now, if we don't get enough fan suggestions, I'm going to start filling out the roster myself, but if you have specific traits, colors, names that you want, uh, then comment them down below, and you will get a chance to have your very own Chow make it into the series. You will get a shout-out with your comment, and it'll be your very own special custom Chow in the series. So if you want that, if you're interested in that, then comment down below your color, uh, it can be monotone, two-tone, what hero alignment you want it to be, hero, dark, neutral, what traits you want, swim, run, power, flight, or 
what kind of name you want. It could be all of the above, or just one of them, or, you know, if, if, if you just want specifically to name a chow, then you can do that. This is going to be my way to bring you guys into the, into the series. So, if you've got suggestions, then please leave them in the comments below. Next up, I want to continue live streaming again. I have not live streamed for months and months and months, possibly around a year since the last time I did a live stream. And I'd like to start live streaming the Chow Garden. So what I'll do is like say probably episode like four or episode five will be a live episode. And instead of uh, editing the episode down, I will just upload the full live streamed VOD onto YouTube. Uh, if you guys would prefer me to edit down the live stream uh, after we start that format, then I will do that. But anytime there is a live stream episode from now on, the plan is to just upload the VOD. So I will be posting videos on my YouTube channel, advertising whenever I go live. So make sure to look out for those uh, sometime in the future, near future. And uh, we'll be doing some live streams in the Chow Garden. So I uh, hope to catch you there live. And let's see what Aaron won. The shovel! The reason why that's so good is because the shovel is a useful, useful item. We can buy seeds from the black market. And if we get so, uh, another chow to get the watering can prize, then we can start planting our very own trees in the chow garden. That'll be something to look forward to in the future. But as for right now, I think that's all that we're going to have for this episode. We got a lot done. We uh, finished training up Aaron and Armin even more. And we were able to have them compete in Chow Karate and Chow Races, win prizes, and get us emblems. Yeah, so if you want to see more, then uh, subscribe to the channel. Like if you did. Comment down below your favorite part. And make sure to comment down below your Chow suggestions if you want to have your very own Chow appear in the series. And uh, in the next episode, I think that these boys are about ready to evolve. So hopefully in the next episode, you will get to see what an evolved hero chow and an evolved dark chow looks like. And uh, maybe we'll start working on another chow. If you're excited for that, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. I've been Maker Pace. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Maker Pace back for another episode of my Chow Garden Let's Play series. Last time, we started our Chow Garden journey by hatching our first two Chows, which we named Aaron and Armin. And why the fuck is my shit fucking up?